What's up Fish Huge fans? I'm Mr. Huge. Welcome to the Fish Huge YouTube channel where I show you guys how we fish huge. So today I'm going to show you guys some of the gear that I'm using to catch these huge mangrove snappers. Um, we're using really light tackle, 17 pound test, 20 pound test. We're also using uh, small jig heads. And the reason why I use smaller jig heads is because of presentation. Uh, the way we hook the bait, and I show you in the video how we hook the bait, it allows for the, the fish to swim in an upright position as it's going down. And it wants to fight the, the jig a little bit. So these pinfish are pretty strong. You want good hardy pinfish. And as it's going down, it's trying to fight it. And you'll even feel your pinfish on the end there and, and just keep feeding it down and you'll start to get used to when when about the timing on the bite when it gets down there. It usually doesn't stay down there very long if, if it even hits bottom. So you got to really pay attention on the timing on how long it gets on you know, how long it takes to get down there. Um, on this video here we're in 110 feet of water or so and um it takes you know a good three to five minutes sometimes for it to get down there um, if you're having trouble uh getting to the bottom then i would suggest going up just a little bit on the weight of your uh of your jig head and uh that'll that'll help or hook the fish a little bit different um and and that, that'll help also with the way i hook it when the snapper eat it they usually they're going to eat the bait sideways in its mouth and with the hook sticking out like this it's going to go in to the corner side of the fish's mouth and then when you jerk upward it always almost every single time goes right into the top bone of that fish now there are some times where it hooks into the edge and you barely get a hook set but for the majority of them, I'm hooking them. This, when, when we're yanking up on it, it's going in, it's hooking right into that top jaw, and that has um, really uh, upped our percentages on uh, hookups and our, and our hookup rate. Uh, sometimes hooking it different, it'll, it'll foul hook and, and stuff in the fish's mouth, and you'll miss them. So that's the reason why I hook them in the belly also, is uh, for, for that reason there. All right guys, so I've been through a few different reels to try to find the right reel uh, rod combo to catch these mangroves the way I do. And I have found that this uh, really lightweight, um, you know, th this one's a seven foot fast action, um, you know, 30 pound braid, uh, tsunami carbon shield uh, rod. 20 pound test and 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 the reel has really been key and i went to the daiwa saltis 3000 and this thing is pretty awesome i really like it uh that that's really been been a, a good uh, tool now for catching these really huge mangroves over 20 inches you need that that pulling power it's got 22 pounds of drag it's got a good gear system you can uh it's got a really big uh area here for you to tighten and loosen it as you need to while you're fighting the fish so it makes it easier as you get the fish up you can loosen your drag uh, a little bit so as not to snap them off uh, 20 pound uh, braid i like the high vis because i'm night fishing i found uh, night fishing right now has, has been key for getting these huge mangroves i'm not going bigger than 20 pounds myself on on the on the line size and with this light line it allows you to get down there easier with this lighter uh with this lighter weight you know the, these little weights like that you, you can't have 30 40 pound test on here it won't it won't get to the bottom you got to have light line light gear I'm using that and also a really good combo i found um it's a little bit uh heavier um the, the ugly stick carbon inshore this thing's good seven foot fast action again uh 15 to 40 pound braid uh and then i got onto that the cabo 50 and uh the the quantum cabo 50 this has really been 
a good reel. Um, this this works really good for catching these mangroves. It's got a nice strong reel handle. It's got the high vis. I put 30 pound high vis on here. And again, I'm going I'm going 20 pound test for uh, the floral carbon. Got a little bit bigger uh, jig head on this one. Um, you, you know, the current was starting to pick up and we needed to upgrade to a little bit bigger deal and uh, really nice setup. I really like these for catching these huge mangroves and it allows you to feel what it does is with these lighter reels it allows you to feel the bite easier and allows that lighter weight to get down there. Alright guys, so that's pretty much it. I've shown you how we catch these huge mangrove snappers. I prefer the nighttime bite right now. You're getting out of the heat of the sun. Pay attention to the major and minors. Uh, pay attention to the weather. Uh, get out there and catch some huge fish. Thanks for tuning in to the Fish Huge YouTube channel. I'm Mr. Huge. Hit that subscribe button and enjoy our video. Let's see if I can get this one up. Get him. Got a good shark. He's not as big as I would like. But I'll take him. Oh, what, what do you mean? Yeah, oh, small. that's a stud. He's small compared to what I normally catch. Yeah, really. <laughs> but he is a big one, I mean. It's as big as he's gonna grow. Oh dude, he's got shrimp. He's spinning up shrimp. Dude, he got shrimp. Yeah, baby. Nice one. Double series. Oh my god, look at that ballyhoo. Big. big one, right? Giant one. Dude, that's like a world record ballyhoo. Holy fuck, dude. He's huge. Nah, that's a howler fish. Uh oh. <laughs> I was like, dude, what? Yeah, that's a howler fish. Dude, those things got serious grow on them, man. Like teeth? Yeah. Big time. It's like a saltwater jar, it looks like. Yup. Pretty much. Yeah. We were out here one night and uh, you see how the bottom screen's all lit up? Mm -hmm. I turned off the lights and everything disappeared. Everything went down into the rocks. Yeah. It's crazy. It's like they, they see that light and they want to come up after it. Oh, the, the snapper and shit? Yeah. They, they see the light from the boat. Some nice thick fish, like that echo right there that you see. Yeah, that yeah, arch, yeah, yeah. Those arches that's a fish, that's one fish. Holy shit. yeah, I'm bottom locked too, so I'm, I'm zoomed in 10 feet to the bottom. Yeah. 
I like that's how I use my Garmin, man. I, I zoom, I zoom that sucker in. I bottom lock, cause that's how you, that's how you're gonna find all these fish. You know, they're not gonna be in the in the column. They're gonna be down in the reef. Yeah. You see, most of them are in that 10 foot range. I don't need to go higher. That, that's than what that. I'm saying. As soon as I'm down at the bottom, like I pick it up a little bit off the bottom, and it's it's missing. Mangrove, dude. Oh, hell yeah. Holy yeah. fucking shit, dude. Let's That's go. A bad That's a Holy fuck. That's, That's a... what I need. Yeah. So we get him. What was he on a pinfish? Yeah. Dude, I'm using 20 pound test. And, uh, you know, I'm just working them, bro. Look. <laughs> That's a big fish. Holy fuck, dude. It's this thing that stinks. Ugh. Yeah, there we go. That big old sucker there. 19 incher. Right, so I ended up getting a better hook set going from the front, from the back. Use a bigger one or a smaller one? A small one. Like little couple inches. How do you communicate with a fish? Drop them a line. Let's see, we're communicating right now. I think that's a good joke. Yeah, you know Tampa Bay Dolphins are assholes. What was it? Those Tampa Bay Dolphins are assholes. They steal the bait and your fish off of your reel, off of your rub. Yeah, they they, uh, they do it on porpoise. Where'd you hook it from, man? Holy crap, dude! I got hammered, man. Oh, there he goes. He came back for Oh, me. my God. That's on a pinfish? Yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah. That was a big hit there, boy. Monster hit. I wouldn't even say huge. Damn. Oh, boy. Gosh, what is it, Mangro? Yeah. Oh, my God, dude. I'm gonna try to net on myself. There yeah, I was about to do it. I was gonna pull it. Dude, oh my god, man. Dude, he hit that sucker. Like, they're coming up off the bottom now, man. They're, they're chasing it up. What time is it? Uh, they said the miner was gonna be close to 12, like 10 to 12 or something. Rather major. Yeah, so it's a little bit later out here, so. That's a fuck. Or did you 
mark them already? Yeah, I got I got to mark them. It's all right, I'll get them. You guys fish. Yeah, buddy. That was a big old one. Yeah, you feel it, Wes. Look, bro, if you hook them like, like this right here, you got to go from the back underneath and get get a hold of that that bone right there oh shit okay and yeah. and then just let him go down man but, uh, yeah bro because i feel like you hook him in the face like, see what what happens is think about it this fish turns sideways when it goes into his mouth he's gonna more than likely try to get it head first yeah. Most of the time when they catch it and then they spit it out, they didn't get it head first. So then they come back for it or another one comes for it. Yeah. And if you got it, they're going head first and how that hook's going to be pointed outward yeah. when he swallows it, right? Yeah. So it's going to be hooked, it's going to go right and it's going to force into the corner of the mouth because he's got a bait backing it. So you think about the, the way that it works. You know, the hook setting and, and how it goes in the fish's mouth, how they yeah. eat the fish, how it, it presents really the bait. The difference, though. How it presents the bait. Yeah, yeah, yeah you notice the difference, right? Yeah. Like, like it, it just, uh, it's not, not, not anybody, I don't think a lot of people are doing like that. Think about it that much. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm always trying new things, and hooking bait's different is, um, Makes a lot of one it, it, it uh, it's like um, just trying different things. Like the same bait isn't. They're not eating it, right? The same bait you keep dropping down there. Then you try a different hook set on that bait. Try hooking it different when you drop it. Yeah. Especially if you're using live bait. It's all about presentation. Yup, presentation. Yeah, that's a nice vermilion. Another vermil. Yeah, that's a good one, huh? Oh, yeah. Sit on my face, too, man. Hell, yeah. You got him. Get him, bro. Dude, they are not messing with this thing. I'm gonna end up uh, dropping down. It's like the, if the pinfish has been in here too long or something, you don't get away it out. I think that's why I got some fresh ones. Oh, that's a nice one. And he's head shaking with the motor. I just leave the action over there on you guys since. The host ain't catching shit. Hey, what's that behind us there? That was pretty big. Oh see? my god, dude, I saw it. I don't know what it was, but it was pretty big. Uh, I think me and you were tangled, man. Oh, uh, baby red snapper. Oh, bro, them motherfuckers are so good. Right. What does it say? Uh, I got the Diowa now, man. That Saltiste. Dude, this Diowa Saltiste is badass. 300 bucks. Yeah. You see uh, that small one? You guys got the big handle on it, right? That one. Yeah. That one's just smaller than the pocket, but it's like a lighter version. See, this is a 3,000. It's got 22 pounds of drag. Yeah, that's fucking. That's insane for a 3,000. Look at that 40. Hey, show the camera that thing. Oh yeah, big old stud fork right there. Look at that. Clean house. Big old toads. Bunch of lanes. Well, that nighttime fishing, I think, is way better. Yeah. You know, it's hot. And, and today, I went out all day and we didn't catch any mangrove. I caught one mangrove and and that was it. So you know the nighttime bite right now for the mangroves I think is what's gonna be be doing it for the rest of the summer here. 
Pretty much, I think that's what I'm gonna start doing, just nighttime. Yeah. All summer. There we go. Nighttime Canada, yeah. Yeah. That pretty much wraps it up. Get a good look at all these bad boys. Little stud muffins. Yeah. Yeah. All right, Fish Huge, we out. Don't forget to subscribe, share, like, hit that bell. Let's go.